What's up, everybody? Gather round. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a theory about what if Voldemort managed to kill Harry Potter uh, at the end of Deathly Hallows, and what would be the aftermath of that? Now, in case you're wondering, I will be taught discussing the events that occur in the alternate timeline in Harry Potter's child in this video. So sorry to those who are, who don't think that her child is Aaron, but I personally do believe it's Aaron, and also J.K. Warning has said it's Aaron, so it obviously is Aaron. So, um, so when I talk about what would happen in Voldemort, heard one, I will be discussing her child in this video, okay? So, let's start off. Voldemort has killed Harry Potter. So, the battle... So, I believe that... No, I believe that many students would have battled on in Harry's name. But Voldemort signed would have won. Hmm. And um, that uh, the school would have done, continued to do as they did throughout Deathly Hallows, sent its muggle bones to Azkaban. Um, what taught dark hearts, so whatever. And, um, yeah, now, um, uh, and also because McGonagall Jude to Snape drove Snape out of the school, that would mean that the school would need a new headmaster instead of McGonagall. So I believe that Dolores Umbridge would have been chosen as the school's new headmistress, like in Curse Child. So, she would have reinstated the Inquisitorial Squad, however, this time in Voldemort's name. And they'll be led by Albus, uh, it'll be led by Scorpius Malfoy. <sighs> and also, only your bloods and half bloods would have been accepted to Hogwarts. And also, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw will be abolished as houses, with Slytherin being the only one. So maybe the Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw common rooms would have been all made to for into Slytherin common rooms. And also if Dolores Umbridge is the new headmistress of Hogwarts, they would need someone else to being the head of the Muggleborn Registration Committee. Probably Yaxley or someone. So, yeah. Uh, however, there will be differences in this timeline than in Earth's Child. Cedric will still be dead. Neville on Bottom will still be dead alive and Snape would still be dead. So with Slughorn, with Umbridge being headmistress, you know Slug as we heard in Half Book Wins, Slughorn thought of Umbridge as an idiotic woman and never really liked her. So Umbridge could fire Slughorn and find a new oceans master and head of Slytherin House. Well, maybe she could be head of Slytherin House, as well as headmistress. After all, McGonagall was deputy headmistress and head of Gryffindor House. So, possibly, um, possibly Umbridge had been the headmistress of the school and head of Slytherin House.
Yeah, yeah. And um, something else, um... Maybe Argus, maybe Mr. Filch, maybe Argus Filch would be shocked at how his former idol wouldn't, isn't hunting the mistreat, uh, the magic whole discipline that they're doing. So, Umbridge, so f he would have seen Umbridge's true idol and she would have fired him from Hogwarts as well. Which maybe she would have Slughorn be the air taker. <sighs> so yeah. Oh and um, something. Oh yeah. So maybe with all of Howie's maybe with Voldemort's all of Voldemort's Hawks is destroyed, maybe Neville Longbottom may have may have um Killed Voldemort, him being the other chosen one and all. But maybe by the time he kills Voldemort, Delphine would have already been born. So maybe, so she could, um, it have where her father left off. And the, and the school will still be under her, will be under her tyranny, tyranny. Yeah, so that's my theory on what would have happened to Voldemort would. And again, I am sorry to those of you who think her, her, her child is rubbish. But like I said, I like her child. And I personally consider it Karen too. So yeah. So that's basically it then. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.